Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mythic Games back with another tutorial for you guys. So, I do apologize, it has been a long time since our last one, um, and I apologize on my behalf. So, uh, for this tutorial, uh, what we will be doing is having a look into the animation side of things. So, basically, the animations are the things that your soldier is always constantly doing throughout the Men of War game. Uh, such as looking around, crouching, getting into vehicles, and so forth. So what this will basically allow you guys to do is experiment and create your own little scenarios where you, you have soldiers doing animations and all that type of mumbo jumbo. Uh, in the description of this video, guys, I will also be listing down um, animations that I would like you guys to use and then... Uh, experiment with and there will be the default animations that are most commonly used for scripting missions with so um if you guys do like this video f feel free to leave a like a comment and a subscribe a subscribe um definitely a comment on what tutorials you would like me to cover such as scripting really anything um in the future i do hope to make some mapping tutorials teaching guys all different types of techniques and so forth but anyway enough of my rambling let's get on into the video so hey guys the first thing you're gonna want to do for this um tutorial is you're gonna want to have your soldier placed down and if you don't have your soldier placed down, just go to F3. Make sure your soldier is placed in F3, first of all. That is a good note. Um, you're just going to want to go into, let's say, multiplayer. And we're going to grab a guy from here. And place him down in F3. So you have your two guys, or your one guy. And if you already have previously units down, that is okay. Um, so to have a look at the animations you're going to want to select your trooper and then you're going to want to press u on your keyboard that is the u key and then you'll get this little prompt box with these five options you're going to want to go straight to call function and click on that and then you're going to get this little uh, call function prompt box and you're going to get any play any stop and clone co cover freak and move and so forth from clone downwards ignore ignore do not even touch um any play click straight onto that one and make sure your dude is selected and then you're gonna see these three options pop up from speed and bone ignore and name is the one you're gonna want to have a look at and it'll always be highlighted straight away um then what you're going to want to do is go straight across and see this arrow, click that, and a drop-down box will show up with a huge list of all these different animations, and then you can have a look through all of them. As you can see, he's doing a cannon maxim move, which is pulling an MG. Um, let's have another one. We'll Oh, there's another animation. And... Then we have this most famous one that you've all probably seen in or saw in a mission, especially in the campaign. So how do we get the trooper to constantly do this animation in your scripting? So you're going to want to close this straight away and he's going to keep on doing that until it eventually stops. So, uh, just make sure you have all this other stuff closed down. So for this guy we're going to select him and what we're going to do is press U on the keyboard again we're going to go straight to tags and we're going to tag this soldier as sleep now we're going to call him sleep now and then we're going to hit sh uh, enter on our keyboard to tag him so the tag will show up there and then you're going to want to hit OK so Make sure this dude is currently selected, and then you're gonna go straight to triggers. Nothing else, just triggers. Uh, right click to add a trigger, and we're gonna call this sleep now. Sleep now. Definitely sleep now. Uh, ignore conditions, and then commands. Right click on that, add and insert. 
and then the first thing you're going to want to go into in this select command prompt box is actor straight away you're going to want to go straight down to animation and then hit ok and the first thing you're going to see in this box is properties for animation is selector drop collage and speed and all these other things what you're going to want to go straight into is selector um, you're going to want to go to tags and then you're going to want to tag the sleep now soldier um, then you're going to want to go straight into collage and of course if you're like me and you can remember the animation you're going to want to double click left click in the box and then you'll be able to type and as the animation said it was lie underscore sleep underscore idl idle um, underscore two so now that we've typed that in and if you're not if you can't remember it's like straight away there's a simple little trick you can do um, select this one in the animation and then you're gonna want to press Control C make sure yep Control C and then close go back to the animation and of course we're gonna remove this just to show you and then you're gonna to want to press Control V make sure you've selected in here and this little icon down is showing and flashing and then you're gonna to want to press Control V as if you're pasting and um, copying and pasting an object onto a map so now this has been done um, the total time you want the animation to last for is uh, minus one which is infinite uh, of course you can change it to say 10 seconds is how long you want the animation to last but for me i'm just going to press minus one uh so that's basically all you need to do but there's one more thing uh, the infinite thing will not happen unless you go to flags and click on loop mate you'll always know that is activated because it will turn white and then just hit okay so that is basically the animation itself and he will do that animation as soon as we click on the simulation button so again I'm just gonna do another example here but this time with a waypoint um, so you're gonna wanna call this walk to sleep or whatever you guys would like to call it if you have a more um, if you want to be a more a little tidier with <laughs> what you name that the tag and of course everyone has a different way of doing something so for me this is just example um, so what we're gonna go on and call this waypoint or a group of waypoints is sleep way point so now that the group has been created we're going to want to uh, oh, sorry not add we're going to want to go down to waypoints and add and we're just going to put waypoint zero the default waypoint or whatever waypoint that you put lace down next and then we'll want to go have him walk straight forward to waypoint zero now that the animation we want him to do is on waypoint zero so we want to go to commands down in the waypoint make sure waypoint one is selected and of course since we use animation it will show up in our most recent so we just select that now we'll go straight into selector but this time because it's on a waypoint it's saying source it, to change this you want to go to the drop down box or the little arrow and you're going to want to go straight up to standard and uh, now it's changed it to all these different options and again you just want to tag walk to sleep which is this guy here so press ok Oop, press ok and then so then we want to if because you've control uh, control seed the last or copied the animation you can just control V to paste it into his um, collage uh, uh, box so then you want to loop his animation so now he will he won't move straight away the reason why is because we haven't added a trigger yet so 
Um, we're gonna call this sleep way, and then we're gonna add an actor to waypoint. Um, so to go find that, you're gonna wanna right click in commands and add, and go straight into other actor to waypoint, and then. You're gonna go into selector and tag as walk to sleep, which is this guy up here. You must remember that. And then the waypoint he will be starting from is zero. Uh, do we need to teleport and rotate? No, we do not. Uh, so now that is his trigger set up. So we're gonna now disable the HUD by pressing Control, Alt, Shift, and D. And then we're gonna want to hit start, and now they will start to go towards animation. And there we have it. That is an animation in a nutshell on how to script script it. So that's basically how easy it is to script things like this and add animations onto waypoints for your soldier to do when he ever he reaches that destination. So it's a really really easy thing to do, guys. And I hope you all enjoyed learning how simple it was to do this. And well, if you guys did like this video and enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And basically, go and experiment for yourselves, guys. So without further ado, I shall say goodbye. Now, bye.